welcome to my channel. It's been a long time ago since I did something in my prompts journal, so I decided to find it and take a look for a prompt. And I had this hair dryer prompt, so I decided to draw a few ideas and I'm gonna pick this one right here. That one is actually pretty good too, but I like this one. So we're gonna do this one and I have the sizes of the hair dryers here in real size and in miniature size. And then I am just going to pick some colors. I take white and this teal light blue color and a black. I'm taking the white clay and I am kind of um, pushing it over the end of one of my knitting needles. This is a bigger knitting needle. It could have been a tiny bit smaller than this one. And I'm going to shape it so that the part around the knitting needle is going to be thinner and the end part is going to have this nice rounded shape. And then I am going to look here around two centimeter that's here. So I'm just going to cut this end off and remove that. Um, and that got a bit crooked, but here we go. And um just gonna work on it a bit more then I take my black colored clay and I roll that into a sausage here and I just cut a slice of the black one off here and I'm shaping it a bit between my fingers so I have this flat round disc placing that at the end of this piece here flattening that a bit placing it and then I have this uh, tool here for um, I don't even know what they're called in English eyelets and I'm just pushing this little star shaped into the end here of the hairdryer and I'm gonna shape this end piece here and cut it off so it has the two centimeters in the length here cutting this off and I'm just going to remove my knitting pin before I am going to bake it. I wanted to make this inside a tiny bit smaller, but I think I will do that when it has been baking. So this part is ready for baking. After baking and cooling off, I can take my X-Acto knife and I can carefully uh, thin this side here a bit out so it's not as thick here in the inside just to make it a bit thinner careful and watch your fingers okay i sanded it a bit or filed it a bit with this little round file that i have before i continue and i'm using this teal colored clay to make this kind of thing that is kind of wrapped around the hair dryer itself so i'm just cutting out the shape that i want it to be in And I wanted these flaps here to sit on opposite side of each other so the middle part here was too small. So I'm just taking them off and then I'm just going to use some of my baking bond to make sure that it will stick while baking because this is baked clay and I'm putting non-baked clay over so you always want to have something in between like bacon bond or um, liquid female. I like bacon bond for this better. So I'm just gonna place one here, turn it around and place the other one where I want it. Right there. Oops, try that again. There we go. 
So I have this little gap in between on the bottom side. And I'm just gonna take a piece of my clay, roll it out through the pass machine in a very thin setting and cut a tiny piece that fits in between um, the two parts here. And I'm smoothing out the connection between the parts here so you don't see that this is a added on piece. Now I am just rolling out the handle as I want it. I want it to be a little thicker at the part where it meets uh, the hairdryer and thinner around the handle itself. And I'm trying to make it in the right length. Um, but for now I'm just shaping it. And I actually think I got the right length here. So now I'm just going again to smoothen in the connection between uh, the clays here and I'm using some Bic and Bond on the white part making sure everything will be sticking really well together when it has been baked. I'm not uh, thinking that much about the shape of the handle right now I'm just concerned about getting uh, the connection between the hairdryer and the handle to look as I want it. And then I will look into the shape of the handle when I'm done with that. I am going to take a tiny piece of black clay and I'm rolling it into a pointy thing and cutting off the little point here and putting it on the end of the handle just like this. And I'm actually going to uh, poke a tiny bit of a hole in the end of this for the cord. After baking and cooling down, I am going to sand it a tiny bit, not too much, but just uh, making the shape pretty good as I want it to. And I am painting the inside of the hairdryer with a uh, black paint. Um, I'm using Citadel paint here. So this is the hairdryer itself. I have some very thin wire. This is actually a real wire. And I am winding it up over something really thin. I have this big needle here that I'm using. Just winding it up like this. Holding it for a second and then I have a curly wire. And I can glue that one end to this little uh, male stick the pluck uh, and on the other side of course on the hairdryer itself and I am done with the hairdryer the little pluck is one that I designed in Fusion 360 and printed on my um, resin printer uh, I don't have a link for the print file of that because I keep that for myself sorry about that then I'm just going to sand a little of the black paint off here and it's all done. So that's it. That was the video for today. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.